In this class, we will try to solve a problem of transmission line. Now, we will understand this problem first. It is been given that there is a local transmitter represented by equivalent voltage source of 50 volt. Okay. So, which you can see that here the transmitter is 50 volt and 500 megahertz. Okay. It is in series which has an internal impedance RG of 50 ohm. This is nothing but the internal impedance of the source is being given as 50 ohm. Okay. The transmitter is connected to a, an antenna being represented by a complex load. So, this source or I can say the generator is connected to an antenna, so which they have represented here. Okay. So, that is of complex impedance ZL is 200 minus 50J. Okay. And the antenna represented by a complex load this through a 4 meter if you remember it is being given that it is a 4 meter long. Okay. It is a 4 meter long 50 ohm. Okay. So, what you can see is the characteristic impedance being given here as Z0 equal to 50 length is 4 meter and it is also being mentioned that the it is in Teflon field. So, your relative per permittivity is given as 2.10 which you can see in the figure. So, the whole question the crux of the question is there in this figure. There is a generator which is given with 50 volt and 500 megahertz. It has its internal resistance 50 ohm which is being connected to a complex load which is 200 minus 50J. The characteristic impedance is given as 50 and the length of the wire is 4 meter of relative permittivity as 2.1. Okay. So, first part of the question says that we have to find the reflection coefficient and the VSWR at the load. It is nothing but voltage standing wave ratio. right? So, the first part is finding the reflection coefficient and then the VSWR. Let us start solving this problem. Now, the first thing is we have to solve something called as reflection coefficient. What do you know about reflection coefficient? It is nothing but ZL minus Z0 by ZL plus Z0, right? Everything is given here, right? So, what I can do is ZL is this 200 minus J50 plus minus Z0, minus Z0 is how much? 50 divided by 200 minus J50 plus 50, right? So, this will be a complex term, right? You can simplify, you can use your calculator and you can solve this. If you solve this, on solving this, what you will get is 0 0.62 and there will be an angle, which angle will be minus 0 0.1244. So, this what you will get the reflection coefficient. Okay. The second part of the question in the same question it is being said that you have to find the VSWR right VSWR at the load. So, we know that VSWR is nothing but 1 plus mod tau by 1 minus mod tau right. Substituting the values as we already have a tau it is pretty easy right. So, it is 1 plus 0.62 divided by 1 minus 0.62, right? Now you have to just put the values and you can get that 4.27. So you got VSWR and you got the reflection coefficient. So we have solved the first part of this question. We will see we have another questions which will be subsequent of this itself in the next videos.